be some undecided voters out there. I don't believe that people don't know whether they like Donald Trump better or whether they like Kamala Harris better. The undecided voter that's out there that's listening to this show today is undecided about whether to vote, whether to cast his or her ballot. And what I would say to you today is it sounds trite when we say that no election has been more important than this election. And that's true, that no election is more important than the current election. Every single election determines the trajectory of a country. So every election is important, but we have allowed our country to come to the point where we're almost past the point of no return. There won't be course correction. It won't be, well, Democrats spend a little more. Republicans cut back on spending. Democrats are a little a little with the censorship. Republicans will course correct. We are long past the sort of ping pong back and forth in the center that Democrats and Republicans have lived in for the last 30 years. We are in a situation where Kamala Harris has brought us to the brink of World War III. Kamala Harris started the war with Ukraine by inviting NATO into Ukraine and Ukraine into NATO. Two days after she said that, Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. And he's wrong to invade Ukraine. He is, he is a tyrant. But that war would never have happened had Donald Trump been president and had Kamala Harris not broken a promise that the United States and NATO had made to Vladimir Putin to not bring NATO into Ukraine. Kamala Harris started that war. And since then, the Kamala Harris-Joe Biden administration has given over $175 billion, I would say our taxpayer money, but they're printing the money to do it, to the war in Ukraine. They've written a blank check for another forever war. And the result of that has been our inflation here at home has skyrocketed. We are now paying 46% more for gasoline, 22% more for groceries, 30% more for electricity. If you want to buy a house in the United States today, just a median priced house, an average house for your family, because of interest rates and skyrocketing inflation, you are now paying twice as much to buy a house than you were paying under Donald Trump four years ago. Twice as much. And yet Kamala Harris gaslights you and says the economy is fine. You're doing well. She says wages have increased. Well, wages have not increased as fast as inflation has increased. And so actually your money is worth less. You are making less effectively than you were before Kamala Harris. And meanwhile, the products that you buy are more expensive. That doesn't even take into account the crisis at our border. Our nation is a nation of immigrants. No one is denying that we are a melting pot. This is what has made our country great. But what's happening at the southern border is cartels, drug cartels, human traffickers, international gangs, and just plain old criminals are coming into our nation because we, and it's not we, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have deliberately chosen not to secure our border. There are 650,000 aliens in our nation who have criminal histories. They either have been convicted of a crime or charged with a crime, roaming free in our neighborhoods because Kamala Harris implemented catch and release. Donald Trump had stopped that, the catch and release being if you cross the border and you have a child with you, you're not deported. You're set free into the United States and just given a court date. Well, what do people, what are, what are, the, what are the coyotes and the traffickers do when they are given that kind of mandate, they create what's called recycling rings of children, children who are not biologically related to adults, but are simply paired with an illegal alien to cross the border so that that illegal alien can be set free in the country. That illegal alien is given a court date, which they most often don't show up to. And those children are lost. Right now, there are 325,000 children that the United States, who've crossed the border that the United States government has lost track of because of a deliberate policy from Kamala Harris. Millions are crossing the border illegally, including 150 terrorists who have just, where are they? Are they hiding out? Are they waiting? Are they plotting an attack? When are they actually going to unleash their hatred of us on us in our country? Maybe at our schools or our churches, our neighborhoods, our festivals, our parades. We don't know because Kamala Harris, those are just the ones, by the way, that we know got away. They're not the actual got away, got aways that we don't have the numbers to substantiate. We don't have the numbers to illustrate how many of these people are in our country. The amount of fentanyl in our country, 70,000 of our countrymen die from fentanyl overdose every year. And the amount of fentanyl that has been captured crossing the border just from May of 2022 or 2023 to May of 2024 is enough fentanyl to kill every single American 14 times over. And that's only the amount that's been captured. That's not the amount that's gotten away. 
the choice of who to vote for in this election is simple. It's not about the personalities of this, these candidates. It's not hypothetical. We know exactly what each of them will be. Donald Trump's been president. Kamala Harris is vice president. We know what we're getting with each of them. Kamala Harris makes our country more dangerous. She makes our country more expensive. She makes life more difficult and she violates our freedom. Donald Trump make, made our lives better as president and there's every evidence to show that he would do that again. Nobody in their right mind should vote for Kamala Harris. Go out, cast your vote for Donald Trump. Make America great again.